discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Marley and I are out here in one of my favorite locations to hunt. It's a beautiful day. We're going to be spending the night here and we're going to be hunting ground squirrels as well as jackrabbits. For this trip I brought with me the Daystate Huntsman Revere in 22 caliber. This makes about 30 foot pounds. I got this about a month and a half ago from Air Guns of Arizona. I have taken it out. I've hunted jackrabbits. It worked really well for that. Um, and I've yet to try it out on the ground squirrels. And so we're going to give it a go. I've got to grab a few things and then we're going to head out in the field and see if we can find some of these ground squirrels. But I'm glad you guys came along. It should be a fun trip. Marley and I found a pretty nice spot to sit. I wish there was a little shade because it is pretty warm out here in the sun. But we found a ravine here that has some wood piles and it's got a lot of ground squirrel holes. And so I'm hoping we might see some activity. The holes look like they're pretty active. Um, you can usually tell. Um, you'll see you know, dirt pulled out of the holes um, where they've been going in and out. And so this looks like it might be a, a pretty good spot. Um, the furthest shot is 40 yards, so it's fairly close. Marley and I spent about 20 minutes in this spot where we were able to take several ground squirrels at just about 40 yards. It was starting to get warm so we headed back to the Jeep, set up in the shade, and it was a real nice place to have lunch. Beautiful scenery, everything was green, and this is the part of coming out here that I really enjoy. It's just relaxing and you really can't beat the view. Marley and I got our first ground squirrel down at 62 yards and I'm pretty happy with the monopod here. Um, this was cheap and you know it's fairly adjustable, lightweight, fits in my backpack and it really helped um, make my shot a lot more stable out there at 62 yards. And so I'm not sure if we'll use it later for jackrabbit hunting, probably not, but um, it definitely is nice for the ground squirrels.
Marley and I were driving and I decided to pull into this spot. Um, it looks pretty promising for jackrabbits. And so we're gonna give it a go. It's about four o'clock. That's usually when they start getting kind of active. I aired this up, I loaded the magazine, and I'm using the 15.89 grain JSB Hades um, that have worked really well out of this gun. I'm hoping that we can get some fairly close shots, you know, 25, maybe 30 yards. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this, you know, out to 60, maybe 70 yards. Um, this gun seems to work pretty well. At 30 foot pounds in 22 caliber, the Huntsman Revere, in my opinion, is on the quieter side of guns considering its length. But it does have the half inch UNF threading, um, which we are able to use to mount a moderator. And I like using the 110C put out by zero decibel. So we're ready to roll. Marley and I are gonna slowly make our way up through this canyon here and I'm gonna be looking up the hillsides and uh, hopefully we can have some luck. Are you ready Marley? <laughs> So Marley and I spotted our first jackrabbit out here. That's a good sign. And I did take a shot at him at just over 60 yards. I wish I could have taken it sooner, but I was trying to get my camera rolling. It's not like I can just point and shoot when I'm trying to capture video. But they're here, so we're just gonna keep at it. So Marley and I did see quite a few jackrabbits. I shot at two of them and missed. Um, both of them were fairly far shots. But that's the way it goes with hunting. I'm showing you guys the real deal out here. And regardless of the luck, you know, we're at least getting out, we're testing gear. And for me, that's what it's about. I love getting out here, love hiking. And I think we found a good spot. We'll come back in the morning and uh, see what's around here. I know there's some ground squirrel holes over there I want to go check out. Um, but for now, I've just got to pack this stuff in the Jeep and we're going to head probably about a mile down the road um, to where I get cell service so I can call my wife and then we'll just set up our camp there. I'm just sleeping out of the Jeep. Really simple. Um, get something to eat and just hang out. I'm probably not even going to have a, a campfire, but yeah, it's real nice getting out here and uh, I hope you guys enjoy coming along. This spot actually isn't very far from where we just were, but I get cell service, so I'm gonna call my wife. Then I gotta move a couple things in the Jeep, um, just so I'm able to sleep in here. And I also wanna put a game camera out in um, this barn out here. 
And so we're going to do that. I'd like to see what kind of animals come through here. And uh, it's just a nice night. It's not terribly cold. We got a beautiful sunset and can't really ask for anything more. So there's a couple little birds in here. We're gonna set this game camera up and I'm gonna put it inside facing out just to maybe capture anything that comes in here. I think it would be interesting. I know there's fox, coyotes, owls, and probably some uh, kangaroo mice. Cheers you guys. I got my coffee in a can and it turned out to be a really nice day. I had a lot of fun getting to explore a couple new spots. I'm excited to see what we pick up on that, that trail camera tonight. Um, the plan is to get up early. I'm going to grab that camera and we're going to head to that spot we were at earlier. Maybe we can get a jackrabbit. We're going to do some ground squirrel hunting, so we're going to hunker down in the Jeep, and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning guys. Marley and I just pulled into where we're gonna hunt some jackrabbits. I pulled into kind of a different spot that's a little closer to where I was hiking around yesterday. Um, we're gonna give it a go. I've got the gun aired up and we're just gonna throw on the backpack and we'll head out here. The one thing I love about these magazines is how easy they are to load. And I like the door that opens here with the little magnet because if you get debris in your magazine you know some of the other ones you got to take them apart and clean them and with this one it's just really easy to load and really easy to keep clean and I've never had an issue with these um, cycling or anything like that. Marley and I were seeing plenty of jackrabbits but the majority of them were really far away out to several hundred yards and so we hiked a little bit further into the hills and I was hoping by getting over some of the ridge lines um, we might be able to get a closer shot. So we did get a jackrabbit at give or take about 80 yards, much further than I wanted to take. He went down and another one came to inspect it. There's Marley. She's got it. Come on. Got it. You got it. All right, guys, we got a jackrabbit and a bit further than I wanted to take, but nonetheless, it worked. Second jackrabbit this gun has taken and it's kind of a funny story When air guns of Arizona sent me this gun it was aired up and It took me four shots to sight my scope in I went out the fifth shot was on a jackrabbit And so this trip was a little more difficult. We shot it quite a few and <laughs> Of course I hit the the furthest one most of the others were probably within 60 yards. And uh, it's been a while since I've really hunted this way. But man, there are a lot of jackrabbits out here and it's not even springtime yet. 
And so I'm excited to come back, maybe with Terry, and we'll spend a, a good solid couple days um, hunting here. This, this particular area is just fantastic. I mean, you guys can see how beautiful it is. Great place to hike. Really an awesome place to hunt with an air gun. Just a lot of fun. And we got it. Awesome. After getting a jackrabbit down, we headed back to the Jeep and moved to a different location from the day prior where I'd seen some ground squirrels. I topped off the Revere, I loaded my shooting stick into the backpack, and we headed out. Barbie and I got a pretty nice little spot here in the grass. Of course, the grass is wet, so my butt's all wet. I should have brought something to sit on. But we've got a nice view. I've seen a couple ground squirrels out here. There's a few holes. Traditional style rifles are by far my favorite as far as, you know, offhand shooting and as far as carrying around. I, I think they look fantastic. Just a beautiful gun, very well made. Well guys, Marley and I are gonna wrap up this trip. We're gonna start packing things up. I've had a really fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. We had fun hunting jackrabbits, ground squirrels, and I'd say we were pretty successful. I really appreciate Air Guns of Arizona sending the Daystate Huntsman Revere. This is one of my favorite guns that Daystate makes. I think it's a tremendous value um, for what they're asking and one that I can definitely recommend to you guys. But if you are interested, I will leave links to the gear we used. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you on the next trip. If you guys enjoy these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. We put out new videos every week. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one.